Good day viewers, Walter here. I'm always coming up with crazy ideas. I think I'll do a series of videos entitled Wacky Project Ideas. And in keeping with that, today's Wacky Project Idea is a scroll saw made out of a sewing machine. You know me, I'm always tinkering with something. Several years ago I was at an auction and there was a collection of junk I bought in a lot for, I don't know, a couple of dollars. And in that box was one that was this, I guess it's a Singer sewing machine, or at least the top off of one. And no, I'm not going to take up sewing. But I saw a video on YouTube the other day where this is all banged up and bent. Things in there need straightening. But the video I saw where somebody took a sewing machine, put a jigsaw blade in here where this needle is. I'm surprised that thing still has a needle in it. And made this sewing machine into a scroll saw. I can take whatever part that's in the way out with just a blade there. And you can, little small objects, you can scroll nothing really big. You can scroll pretty good size though. And that might make an interesting little project. I'll make myself a little homemade scroll saw. And this here is what turns the contraption. It does go up and down like a jigsaw. Everything in there looks dry, needs lubricating. But it looks like an arm that goes around and flops back and forth. It's turning better since I started moving it. You know, tell it what a little bit of oil would do. What do you think? Can I make a scroll saw out of this booger bear? somebody on eBay might give you a couple of dollars for this thing. There's probably some parts on here somebody needs to fix their Singer sewing machine. It's got some kind of shuttle on here that turns to wind the bobbin I guess. Here's a bobbin holder over here. I'm like I can make a Jim Dandy fishing line. Uh, think for feeding your fishing line onto your pole with or something. I guarantee you that little contraption right there could be used to make something. What does it say on the button there? I ain't got my glasses on. The Singer Manufacturing Company. Yep, it's a Singer. One of these days I'll get out here and take enough of it apart that I can lubricate that booger bear. Look at that thing flopping back and forth. I could probably disconnect that. All I need is this piece here going up and down, and it goes up and down pretty darn good. Put me a little motor on here, I could even take a cordless drill and hook up to that thing and power the darn thing. That piece that's bent in there would probably go better if it wasn't bent. We got a name on here, a social security number or something. SSM423. Well, just in case it is somebody's social security number, we won't give that out.
But I'll tell you what, them old mechanics back in them days had some pretty neat notions on how to build something. Things just ain't made that way nowadays. One thing is for sure, you ain't never I'd have to pull that out to get the jigsaw blade to, to go down in there, but that, that ain't no problem. Just something to vlog about today. See, it might be a model number on here. Let's clean it up and see what the model number was. Things. Sometimes you come up with something that you can reuse. You recognize the value of something. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Well, that sure was dirty and rusty. I don't have my glasses on. Serial number looks like P113389. One darn thing for sure, I can spend a couple of hours tinkering with this booger bear when I get time. I got too much other stuff to do right now. But seeing that video on YouTube made me think, hey, you could make a scroll saw. Don't look like you'd have to do a whole lot of adapting to get that thing to hold a jigsaw blade. We're going to sure give it a whirl. Put some thread on there and sew something, couldn't we? Anybody want to buy a slightly used Singer sewing machine. This is Pete Walpar signing off.